Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with our subject, computer graphics. The next topic in this subject is the DGA. That is a digital, D for digital, and another D for differential, differential analyzer, analyzer. Okay, so here, uh, what is this DGA algorithm? Why we require uh, this algorithm to draw a line segment in the system? So that is a, in computer graphics, uh, this DD algorithm is used. So let me explain. you. Actually, this is a line drawing algorithm and we call it as a scan conversion method. It is a scan conversion method for drawing lines which follows an incremental approach okay here you have to remember that it is one of uh, method of the scan conversion method this dda is a scan conversion method for drawing lines for drawing lines and it uses the incremental approach it is an incremental approach means by taking the previous uh, coordinates help the line can be incremented so if you want to draw any line so suppose this is a line if you want to draw this line you need all the points on that line okay so those are the floating points you you require those points so this dda algorithm is an incremental approach why i am calling it as an incremental approach because to draw the next uh, to find out the next uh, uh, point we required we use the previous point so with the help of this point we are drawing this point and with the help of this point we are drawing uh, we are finding this point we are finding this point like that so that's why we call it as an incremental approach so you have to remember that the digital uh, differential analyzer is a scan conversion method which is used for drawing the line segments on the screen okay and we it is follows an incremental approach so in this algorithm to draw a line the difference in pixel point is analyzed then according to that line is drawn so what we have to be analyzed difference difference in pixel point pixel point is to be analyzed is to be analyzed then according to that the line can be drawn so this method is said to be incremental approach because it performs the computation at each step and uses outcome of the previous step so what i said now so this is a line uh, it's a plane so here you need to draw any line on the graph okay if you want to draw the line on the graph so this is a starting point and this is the ending point to reach that ending points we have to find out the intermediate floating points so with the help of that floating point only that line segment can be drawn okay so here in this algorithm to draw a line the difference in the pixels so these are the pixels the points whatever you are seeing you this call as a pixels so the difference in the pixels so a difference between these two a difference between these two so a difference between the pixel points is analyzed then according to that the line can be drawn so before understanding this data definition differential analyzer algorithm we must understand what is a line and how it is defined first okay so in this video i want to explain i want to be explain uh, an introduction part of this dda after that i'll explain the algorithm and then i'll explain that algorithm with an example okay so before understanding this dda you have to be aware of what is a line and how it is drawn okay actually the line is nothing but it is a two points in a plane uh, is connected by a line segment and falls under that equation is known as a line so here you can see this is a line okay so this is a line segment with an equation y is equal to mx plus b so this is a straight line equation this is a straight line with the starting point a x1 y1 are the coordinates and x2 and y2 are the 
and the coordinates. So with the help of these two coordinates, a line equation will be formed. That is y is equal to mx plus b. So if the lines has two endpoints, a x1 comma y1 and b y2 comma x2 comma y2. So here the slope, whereas m, m you call it as a slope. This is a line equation, straight line equation. Here m is a slope. m is nothing but the difference in the y coordinates by difference in x coordinate. That is a y2 minus y1. Okay, the y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. The difference in y coordinate by difference in x coordinate. You, all, you can also write dy by dx or delta y by delta x or dy by dx. So the slope of a line is nothing but the difference in y coordinate by difference in x coordinate. Okay. So here I said uh, this is a line. A line or a line segment with consisting of starting points and ending points. So the equation of the line is y is equal to mx plus b. And here you are having the origin 0 comma 0. Okay. So, if this line intersects the x-axis, then you call it, a, that point is an x-intercept. If this line is intersecting the y-axis, then we said that is a y-intercept point. A line that intersects the x-axis, if suppose this line is intersecting the x-axis means x-intercept and y-axis means y-intercept. So, here we are taking y is equal to mx plus b. Here b is a y-intercept, interception point. So, let me explain you the different uh, line equations. So, we can write y is equal to mx plus b is one line equation. And another line equation is uh, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. So, this is another type of line equation. And the third one, x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. Means the x-intercept and the y-intercept is equal to 1. x by x-intercept and y by y-intercept is equal to 1. Okay. So, this is a just uh, a line, a segment. What the line equation y is equal to mx plus b. Then y is nothing but the slope of a line. Difference of y by difference of x. So, the DDA algorithm is based on, why I explain all these things? Because this DDA algorithm is based on the calculations of delta x and delta y only. So, the complete uh, algorithm is based on this slope, delta y and the delta x values. So, delta y is nothing but m into delta x and delta x is delta y by m. So, given a line have the slope positive or negative. Suppose if you if you are drawn one line segment, if that slope is either a positive or a negative, means the m is maybe greater than 0 or m is less than or equal to 0. Okay, greater than 0 means a positive value and the less than or equal means is a negative value. So, the given line have a slope with a positive or a negative value. So, if positive then delta x and delta y is are incre increased. So, if m is greater than 0, if m is greater than 0 means the values will be increasing. The x and y value coordinates are increasing and delta x and delta y values. Else, the values will be decreased. So, in the DDA algorithm, there are completely three cases for that. Suppose, if m is less than 1, okay, means the slope of that line is less than 1. If it is less than 1 means, uh, let me write. Uh, so, this is a plane uh, in this coordinate system. M less than uh, 1 means that de this delta x, the straight line is like this. Okay. And this is a delta y. Means the difference in x coordinates and this line is the difference in the y coordinate. Okay. So, this is m less than 1. So, m less than 1 means m is equal to, you know, delta y by delta x. Difference in y by difference in x. Means here the difference in x is less than, less when compared to difference in, uh, difference in y is less when compared to different in x. Okay. So, this is m less than n. Then the new coordinates are xn is equal to x1 plus 1 and yn is equal to y1 plus m. xn, it's a next, 
increment value and the previous value. X new value, previous value plus 1 and the next uh, Y new value is equal to Y previous plus M. So this is a case for M less than 1. Suppose if M is greater than 1, then the formula means to finding the coordinates, the new coordinates or the next coordinates on the line, not it's a uh, new, it's a, uh, I have to draw the line segment, right? So I want to find out what are the points that are present in between these two starting and end points. To find the points in between these two lines, first you need to calculate the slope. Suppose your slope is less than 1, you have to find out the next coordinates okay next coordinates by using this formula suppose if m is greater than 1 if the slope is greater than 1 you have to use these formulas to find out this is a new value x new value is equal to x previous value plus 1 by m and y new value is equal to y previous plus 1 so to find out the next values suppose if slope is what is equal to 1 then a new is equal to x1 plus 1 and the y incremented is equal to y1 plus 1. So just remember these formulas to find out the uh, DDA algorithm lines. By using the DDA algorithm, the line segment you have to be drawn. To draw the line segment from starting to the end point, you need to find out the mid uh, intermediate points. With the help of the intermediate points only, the line will be connected point to point. Okay. So this is just an introduction part. So in the next video, I will explain an algorithm. Thank you.